Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we are cooking, as it says in the title, uh, garlic prawns. Uh, garlic prawn pasta. And I've forgotten to get the garlic out of the fridge. Yeah, I'm so professional. So yes, ingredients what you will need. Garlic. You're going to need some olive oil. Let me just adjust the screen. It's quite oily. It's, oh yeah, it's good. Salt and pepper. You're going to need prawns, obviously. And over that side, we have some pasta. Here, I'm going to have to defrost it, but uh, that will take up five minutes. We have some Tasmanian smoked salmon. You can use any sort of smoked salmon. Uh, it's not 100% necessary to use this, but I like smoked salmon and I want to use it, so I am going to use it. This is how I do it. There is no recipe. I'm just going off a terrible memory in my head, so let's hope I don't burn the house down. Um, another one, which you can choose to use if you want, is chili. Um, I have the paste here. It doesn't really matter. Chili's chili. Same with the next ingredient I'm going to show you. Uh, yeah, chili. Put as much or as little as you want in, up to you. Then here we have some coriander paste. Uh, you're not going to need much of this, but um, yeah, you can use parsley as well. You can obviously use actual coriander and actual chili. But um, yes, yeah, up to you or whoever does the shopping in your household. So yeah. For the prawns, I suggest getting already peeled ones. Um, I don't have any already peeled ones, so I am going to have to peel these. And I will probably do that on camera, because where I'm going to upload a heap of videos, I don't know what their internet cap is, but I'm going to use it up. It's, it's Paramount of Road in Sydney. Uh, I've gone there for New Year's Eve. So, yeah, I'll go over to the dinner table and I will show you how to peel prawns uh, or just video it and speed it up so yeah to the next clip guys I forgot to tell you to defrost anything uh, a nice easy way to do it instead of using your microwave is to believe it or not cold water works so as you can see it's on cold Fill up your sink, um, probably your little sink, to save water, you don't need much. Uh, a bit more than this. We'll grab the salmon. Uh, so all we have to do is chuck that in there, put like a coffee cup or something on it to hold it down. Otherwise it'll float, maybe, or not. I'm going to do it anyway, I'll just put this scan pan fry pan on it. No advertisement. So yeah, just going to leave it like that. Yep. And by the time we're ready to use it, it will be defrosted. So, there's a little hint and trick for you. Alright guys, so now we're going to peel the prawns. Just grab a container, any will do. So you put the good prawns in and then you'll just put the shells and the heads and stuff, unless you want to use the heads of course, back into the bag. And then uh, put that in the freezer until garbage day and chuck it. Alright, so, we're going to open it up. I'm going to grab a prawn. Um, some may feel soft and shitty, uh, like this one here. Uh, if you don't like prawns, stop watching, it's garlic pasta. Why, why would you want to use it? Uh, eat it, I mean. So, we'll just, this doesn't feel too great. So the bad ones... Uh, Alright, bad ones we're just going to chuck on a lid or something. Move the TV remotes out of the way. Take two. Okay, this one feels decent. It's slimy. But yeah, just pull the head off, then uh, crack the tail and pull that off. This is quite small, this one, so it's kind of a pain. And yeah, that is how you peel a prawn. And chuck that in there. Try not to eat them while you do it, otherwise you probably won't have any left. So I'm going to speed it up now. I'm going to put some music in the background. Probably the one I've used for previous videos, but I don't get copyright off. So. 
Yeah. So, I'm gonna do that. Let's speed it up right about now. So the prawns are peeled, as seen there. So what I'm going to do, and what you guys should do, is put it in the fridge because that's all you're gonna need of the prawns right now. Um, make sure they smell like a seafood co-op or wh wherever you buy fresh seafood. If they don't smell like that, you know they're bad. So there's that. Just put it on top of something. Alright, so next, what we are going to do, we are going to want a fry pan. Um, can't remember where I remembered. I couldn't remember where we had the fry pans. Ain't I smart. Alright, I'll grab some water back here. Alright, massive fry pan. Way over here. Let's move the garlic out of the way. Alrighty, so there we have the fry pan. Um, so zoom into it, and I shall show you all what to do. Let's get the camera out of my way. I don't have a cameraman. I am my own cameraman. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Get rid of the lid. You don't need that. Um, if it doesn't smell like a lid, leave a comment down below, and um. Yeah, as you can't see because it's not facing the camera. It's clean and I can crack my finger that hurt. Alright, anyway. Olive oil. Open it up. And put that much in. You can use more, you can use less. Up to you. But I tend to like this oily in. You know, how I do it. So I'll take you off the tripod and I'll show you how I did it. So yeah, about that much. Alright, so then you're going to want to turn it on. And that's that. And yeah, just wait. So next, after this, we are going to put the prawns in. Oh, I don't know why I'll put them in the fridge. Put the prawns in, um, your garlic, your uh, coriander, your chilli. And then have that do its thing, and then just put it on a low heat. I'll show you when I actually do it. Uh, probably smart to get a spoon as well. A uh, wooden spoon, or a steel spoon, up here, don't care. So, I could either speed this process up, I forgot I could do this. Make you guys higher. God, how high does this go? Okay, so now you can look down. Okay, so the time is quarter past five. And yeah, just do your own thing. How about this? I'll be back. I don't know why I walked in front of the camera, but yeah, I'll be back when there's something to look at. Alright guys, um, you should know that your oil is hot enough when you move the fry pan around and it goes like water. So, chuck your prawns in. Get out. There we go. Uh, chuck that away. And now, just listen to it. So yeah, this is that.
while that's doing its thing, you're going to want to put garlic in there as much as you like. Always give it a sniff, so there you go, because it smells nice. I'll do a couple of heaping teaspoons, so. Start stirring again. Turn down the heat to halfway because this will get hot. All you want to do is heat it over. It's going to smell quite weird because it's from the garlic oil. Again, guys, this is just how I do it. That's a bit of shell. Turn that off, there's enough heat in there to warm it through. Put that to the side. <coughs> then you're going to put your coriander in there. Always check these by date. Um, 5th of August 2014, so this has gone off. Couldn't care less, I'm going to use it anyway. So, plop, plop, oh, three pops in. Put some chilli in there. Uh, salt and pepper, you leave that to last, put it in the pasta itself. And as much chilli as you want, guys. Okay, that was probably way too much. When did this go off? 14th of December. That's not even 15 days off. So I just put this together around itself, sort of thing. Probably could have left this bit till last, because next we're going to be doing the pasta. And that's that. That's all done. Um, salmon is absolutely last because you don't want to, you know, cock it up. And we'll just put the fry pan over there. Now we're going to get a saucepan. This do. Put that lid on there. I don't need it. So saucepan. Fill fill it up to uh, probably halfway. So you guys going to watch this? No. Yes. Okay. You guys can watch my back. Um, if you can see, yes, I am wearing a Nissan shirt. Probably about one and a half litres, guys. Alright, that should be enough. It's water, you all know what that looks like. Um, okay, Let's get this sorted, then I'll show you guys again. There you go. Alright, so that's on. I'm in the way yet again. Put some sea salt in there. Just a pinch. Right. A pinch. Like so. There you go. And now all you gotta do, put the lid on. And wait for it to boil. And then put your pasta in. Hey guys, this isn't to do with anything. I just thought this was quite strange. Uh, I've got a piece of pasta here. Two pieces actually. The camera should have focus. There we go. So yeah, you can see two pieces. I'm going to hold it from there. And then you can see... Maybe... Why is it focusing on my hand and not the... What I want it to focus on. Yeah, anyway. It's stuck together. Yay! That was 30 seconds wasted. What wait. Alright, guys. Uh, zoom in a bit more. Okay, uh, it's boiling. So, that would be 100 degrees Celsius. Degrees Fahrenheit is unknown. So, what you want to do now, you grab your pasta, like this. I uh, probably could have put more water in there now that I look at it while it's hot. But, no matter. Um, can always put more in. If this parcel would come out, I would uh, happily show you what to do next. But, uh, yeah. So, use as much pasta as you need to for the amount of people you're cooking for. I'm cooking for two people, so I'm going to cook for five people. Uh, mostly because I eat, like, a lot. So, this much pasta. This, you can either put it in like a chef and eventually curl it around, or you can be a bogan. Not really a bogan. Bogans don't eat food. They just drink. Anyway, just snap it like this, without, you know, giving yourself steam, but then just 
chuck it in. Same with this end. Get in there. And yeah, grab your spoon. Give it a stir even. Uh, then notice that that is enough for one person. So you need to use more. So then you grab more like this, which you can't see because I'm not showing it. Don't And there you go, that should be enough. Then you just put your extra pasta away. That's all the pasta you're going to need. So, yeah, so I can finish eating your snacks. How to be a professional. Alright guys, so I just tasted, taste, tasted the pasta. Uh, it's nearly done. There should be enough heat left in the pot and in the water to finish it off so I'm gonna do that while I'm letting it do that I'm gonna clean out the sink because I just washed up uh, and then the next clip will happen okay guys I have the colander so we'll go over to the sink and you can guys can stare at my bag once again so give it one final stir make sure you guys can't see obviously and then bring it over here as you hopefully will be able to see then carefully there should be one left yet there's always one left and then what you're going to do swap hands uh, bring the tap over give it a run down get the rest of the pasta juice out and then you know pass the pasta it's not all gross yet and just pour that cold water through here and then yeah that is that your pot is good to go so just put that out of the way uh, rinse some cold water through this just for the sake of it and then try and shake all the water out and all should be good now uh, you guys want to try a bit uh, Sorry, I've already touched it, but there you go, nom nom nom. That actually tastes pretty, well, it doesn't taste like anything actually, but it feels perfectly cooked. Alright, so no more water coming out. That's that, I don't know why I touched that. Um, Alright, this way again, back to the fry pan. i just chuck your lid out of the way. This hot plate again, turn it back on, uh, get the heat going through your prawns again, and garlic and chili and coriander. I think that's what I put in it. Yeah, coriander. Um, once that starts doing its thing, then you're gonna want to put your pasta back in, maybe a little bit maybe a little bit more oil, depends how it tastes. Um it smells really good. I, I just love garlic, guys, honestly. If I could get a shirt with a garlic on it, I would have that and my shirt, what I'm wearing now, it says Nissen on it. And the bird outside. Uh, my bird, she's actually been really good today. She's been really quiet. With that being said, it was boiling hot yesterday and it's freezing cold today. It's not actually freezing. It's like 22 degrees. All right, you, can, you may or may not be able to hear. It's starting to sizzle again. And I really want to eat one. Oh, that smells so good. I'll bring you guys over in a second. I'll show you that I have a perfect amount of stuff in there. So, well, perfect for me anyway. So, yeah, it's nice and colourful. And colour is being salad, and salad is healthy. So, yeah, so, push this off to the side, then we're going to put our pasta in. I'm just going to plop it in like this. And now I have realised I've used way too much pasta. Oh well, that's always what happens. One last bit, I'll do that. 
Uh, can you start? So you're definitely going to want more oil, more garlic, and more everything. So you should get that back out with that medium heat. Don't want to burn anything. Heat burn, maybe drop the heat a little more. Um, when this is all dished up, it should be better. See where it should be. If you had uh, non-cooked prawns, you would obviously want to cook them first. This is just before heat through everything, honestly. Alright, so I'm going to put more garlic in there. And I'm also going to send another text message telling her we need more garlic. Because I'm nearly out. Probably two more. One more heaving one, and then just try and get some garlic sauce. Will it come out? No, nearly. That's going to be really garlicky. No problem there. I love garlic. To an unhealthy degree. Stir that through. Put the heat up a bit more again. You're going to want to keep stirring and not stop stirring. So then stuff doesn't burn and shit bricks and stuff. Alright, leave that. Put more chili in. They're two massive things. This is definitely going to taste like something else. Then some more coriander. You know, just put some more greenery pretty much. And a bit over there. Uh, stir that through. You can smell the chili. See it's starting to turn red. Like the pasta. That's good. I've used way 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 too much uh, actual pasta but as well. Alright now I'm gonna leave you guys there for a sec. Probably zoom in some more. I'm gonna put some more oil in because you don't want it to seize your engine. I mean, I don't. You don't want to seize your stuff. You, you don't want it to be dry. So, this olive oil. Olive is a vegetable, I think. So, olives are healthy. More oil, the better. Now, if I didn't use this, if I didn't use as much uh, pasta, I wouldn't need as much oil and stuff, but I have clearly misjudged. Now, I'm just going to give it a taste test. Always have a fork on hand. Mm, yeah, it tastes pretty good. Whew. Tell you what, a bit of chili in there, alright? Um, before I forget, salt and pepper. Uh, this is Vietnamese pepper, so... It's very, is it very good? Uh, don't breathe through your nose when you're doing it, because I'm about to sneeze, I think. Turn the heat way down now. Excuse me. <coughs> Alright, I'm back.
Turn that off, should be enough heat. Obviously you would use more prawns as well, or shrimp as you Americans would say. Bit of burnt tartar, that's alright. Give it a bit of crunch. My bird just sneezed. Alright, so that's that. Don't know why the prawns are going to this side. I'm trying to stir them into the middle. But that doesn't want to work, so. Alright. That is a near finished job. And I'll go take you guys off the tripod once again. Give you the geese and zoom out. Alright, so. This is it. Don't know why it looks so yellow through the uh, camera lens, but. Well, well. That's that. Hot surface. Alright, so now to the salmon. Okay, guys, with the salmon, um, this, that is this orange stuff right here. What you're going to want to do is grab a knife and probably use your fingers for this, but I'm lazy. Or change your mind like this. And yep, use your fingers. Works so much better than a knife. Um, if you're weird like me, save that to lick, but I'm not going to save it to lick, so... Chuck that there. Try and separate it all. This stuff tastes really good, so I'm just going to steal that bit. Alright, so I'll just say cut up about there. Hope you guys can see. There again. There. There. And then what you're going to want to do, roll it up. And just roll it up into different little bits and pieces. Chuck it in the pasta, stir it around. Well, you probably don't have to roll it up, but I am. I'm chucking it into the food, by the way, not onto the stove for no reason. Or you could just leave it like that and chuck it in there. It doesn't really matter. Any leftovers you can obviously eat. Or if you want to do it you know, a different way, you can just rip it, chuck it in, rip it, chuck it in, rip it, eat it, rip it, chuck it in. Um, then you're going to give it a stir again. Get it around into the pasta and other. Try not to throw your pasta around. Now I can't pick it up. So I know that. Come on, stir you mother. Yeah, you only want to do this when you've finished and there's no heat on because it's already cooked, obviously, it's been smoked. So you just want to get some heat into it. Uh, now that I've done this, I would recommend just ripping it. Uh, probably small pieces too would be good. So that way you can share it around evenly.
Yeah, you're going to want to definitely rip it up because it's way too big if you cut it the way I showed you the first time. You may or may not be able to see there is steam coming off it, so it is obviously hot. Not off the salmon, off the food itself. Well, probably off the salmon as well. Prawns, get in there, you bloody things. Rinse and repeat. So just small bits, probably a bit smaller than that. Uh, bigger than this. Just can't even see it. That was too big, that bit, but. Oh well. And yeah, that's that. So now you just want to stir it through again and then plate up, and I'll show you the finished uh, product. Alright, guys, so you're going to want to have a drink with this as well because uh, it is quite spicy. So, what I'm going to use is Pepsi Max. Why? Because it's what's in the fridge. Or water. Water could be used as well. I like to fill it to the top to get the maximum performance out of my glass. You always want to get the maximum performance out of your anything. Including penis. What? Alright, so just drink some. So, yeah. So here's your bowl. Let's go over here. Zoom out a little bit. Uh, you guys don't have to do all the zoom in, record in, and so on. Uh, I'm only doing it to show you guys how to do it. You don't need to do any of the camera stuff. You can if you want, but it's not necessary to cook food. I don't think anyway. I haven't tried it without the camera. This is my first time cooking this. I know with tacos and spaghetti you don't. Alright, so I just grab some, put it in. Don't worry about presentation too much, you know, you're the one eating it. And make sure to grab some salmon, some prawns. You know what, maybe this was enough pasta. Because I'm gonna have some for breakfast tomorrow because me and my friends, we're going out to uh, laser tag, then. When mum gets home from work, she's going to want to eat, probably. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to cheat. Grab a prawn, a bit of salmon. And that's that. Something squeaked. I'm just going to grab the lid to the fry pan. Don't want to cook that actually. I'm just going to leave that there so uh, a certain Maggie cat won't eat it. And this is a finished product, guys. Oops. There you go. So it might not look that appetizing, but until you eat it, then it will be appetizing. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. Uh, leave a thumbs up down below and um, leave a comment as well. That would be nice. I like to interact with you guys. I think. I don't know, you don't comment enough. So, yeah, please comment. Uh, if you loved it and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, share it around with people who like food. Most people do. There are people who don't. Uh, but science should be helping those overcome their eating disorders.
that's not something you want to hear about while you're about to eat. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up and um, let me know how I did. See you in the next video, guys.